I'm going to be talking about ride by wire throttle. I was riding my friend's Jigzar uh, 150 right now, and all of a sudden we were talking about the new KTM RC390, which is going to be having ride by wire throttle. And I said, wait, did I talk about ride by wire on my channel? And I realized no. So that is what I'm going to be doing right now because many of my friends have asked me what is ride by wire throttle so now i'm going to be doing a video explaining what is ride by wire throttle in a very simple manner okay suraj now this is a conventional throttle all right where there is a cable going all the way down to the throttle body now throttle body is where the actual uh, you know there is a kind of a body which opens up which lets air inside okay that is controlled physically by a cable here and this one has a single cable sometimes motorcycles have dual cables one is for opening and one is for closing because in on high performance motorcycles in case you open throttle and in case the throttle gets jammed or in case the uh, cable gets snapped then you'll not be able to close the throttle so you have another cable which in case if the cable snaps here, if you pull kind of, you know, push it forward, then the other cable closes the throttle body. So that, that is how a conventional throttle with cables work. This is what I generally like anyway. But again, the primary reason why uh, ride by wire technology was invented because when traction control system came in, that is when, see what is traction control system? On very high powerful motorcycles, when you bang open the throttle, what happens is that there's too much torque going to the rear wheel and you can lose traction. So what happens in ride-by-wire technology is there is no actual physical throttle here. I mean, there's no cable. There'll be a throttle and that'll be connected to a sensor, a circuit. And there'll be wires going from here wires like this and not an actual throttle cable and the wires will go all the way to the throttle body area and near the throttle body area there'll be a servo servo is something which kind of pushes things front and back so that servo when you open the physical throttle here it sends the signals to the throttle body and the valve actually opens and closes now why do you have that why does this technology of ride by wire exist? Because in traction control system, when the motorcycle is very powerful, when you bang open the throttle and the rear wheel starts to spin even one inch, then the computer senses that the user, that is the rider, has given too much input, has opened the throttle too much. Then it actually starts to close the throttle on behalf of you, even if you keep it open too much. So that is where uh, you, it is generally not recommended or possible with a physical throttle cable. And so in simple terms, ride by wire is basically uh, eliminating the cable and sending the signals to the throttle body from a electronic sensor. So downside of it is that in case the servo, which I spoke about, malfunctions because electronic and electrical things can malfunction so in that case you'll not be able to open your throttle but good side is that you get uh, traction control and different riding modes and all that so what is better well it depends on the uh, rider but uh, for reliability i still prefer a proper physical throttle and now i still wonder why does the KTM RC390 have a ride-by-wire throttle? Because it doesn't have traction control. It is not a very powerful motorcycle. I mean, it's, it's powerful enough, it's respectable, but it is not some 150 or 200 horsepower motorcycle, right? So, in general, it is not a great thing to have ride-by-wire on uh, motorcycles which are not very powerful because you are simply adding another thing which can fail on a motorcycle. And that is it, friends. And also, in ride by wire, another thing can happen. That is, uh, Suraj, you can come closer. There's something called throttle blipping, right? Which we do when we are uh, changing gears. Imagine. That is, yeah. I mean, when we blip throttle like this. Yeah. So that, when you have an actual cable, it works much better because you're physically doing it. What input you give here goes there instantaneously. 
but in ride by wire there will be a very very small amount of lag so throttle blipping will be fine but not as satisfactory as a physical throttle cable now some actual history about ride by wire now ride by wire is on motorcycles and in cars also you have throttle by wire now where did it come from how was it invented this all came from aviation you know airliners uh, sophisticated fighter jets so what happened is that when aeroplanes started becoming more and more powerful and uh, that is the time when manufacturers realized that although pilots are really well trained but in case there is a situation where the pilot gives too much of input on the throttle and that you know uh, because the engines are so powerful the manufacturers thought let's take away some of the power from the pilots and give it to the computers so they have sophisticated computers monitoring how the engines are working the altitude the pitch nose roll and everything of the aircraft but how would they kind of restrict the power going to the engines so they put they actually took away i mean even aircraft actually have actual throttle cables you know going to the engines but uh, the manufacturers like boeing and airbus they took away these throttle cables and they put computers in between the throttle and the engines so when pilots give their inputs even if they bang open full throttle the computer would think the pilot has gone mad you know this is too much throttle to give and it would calculate the altitude the situation the you know ground speed and everything and give only the optimum amount of power to the engines so that is how this technology started and it is known as fly by wire you know and then it become throttle by wire and ride by wire and uh, kill by wire kill by wire is there yeah yeah there <laughs> is you can kill someone with a barbed wire yeah and if you are not subscribed to me you are missing out on well over 420 videos so that is it friends if you have any questions do let me know